Hey guys, in this video I'm going to review this power station from Enelon. Actually, this is first time when I touch product like that. I have never had experience with any power station, so I'm really excited to test this unit. This video is going to be divided to multiple parts. In the first part, we'll review specification for this product. We'll see what is the battery capacity for this unit, how many watts we can push from this device, what kind of solar panels we can connect to this device to charge this. In the next part, we'll try to run multiple devices, multiple different electrical devices from this unit. We'll see what it's capable for. And in the next part, it's going to be more technical part. I want to disassemble this unit and I want to see what is inside this, what kind of batteries it has, what kind of inverter is there and uh, how this built inside. If you're interested, let's jump into the video. So in a package with this unit, we're getting user manual, we're getting wall charger and we're getting car charger. So specification for this unit, we have three AC outlets and powerful outlets is a one kilowatt continuous and two kilowatt peak power. Battery inside this unit is a lithium ion batteries, 1.1 kilowatt hour. For USB ports, we have two USB 2.0, one USB 3.0 and one Type-C USB. For 2.0, maximum amperage is a 2.1. For USB 3.0, we have 5 volts 3 amps, 9 volts 2 amps or 12 volts 1.5 amps. For Type-C USB, maximum, maximum power is a 60 watts and here is the voltages that you can get from this output. Basically, you can charge any laptop that is accepting USB Type-C connection. For DC output, we have a cigarette lighter port and two DC 12 ports, which is using this type of connector. For this port, output is 12 volts, 8 amps maximum. For DC input to charge this device, we can charge using wall charger right here with 26 volts, 4.5 amps, or we can connect this unit to solar panels and then voltage should be in range 18 volts to 30 volts. Weight for this device is about 14 kilos. And right here is a button to power this unit. Then we have this battery indicator and we can turn output for this unit individually for AC, USB and DC. So if we long press on AC, it will activate inverter and we'll have this sign. Same for USB and same for DC output. All right, now let's try to run different equipment and see what is this power station is capable to run. So we just see a few examples what we can run from this power station. And I want you to understand that this station is not really designed to run vacuum cleaner or air compressor for continuous time. This is more like emergency situation. And uh, I did run all of this equipment to show you what is this station is capable of, what is the maximum for this power station. And uh, this is more designed to charge your laptops, phones, cameras, uh, drones. And uh, from AC side is just to run your TV, fans, lights, etc. 
So if you want to run heavy equipment such as like one kilowatt, this station could do this, but it will decrease lifespan for the batteries because it has not a huge battery pack inside and uh, heavy, heavy load for this station will cause batteries to heat up and the heat is decreasing lifespan for lithium batteries. Now I'm going to charge this device back and I'm going to use this standard charger which is going with this. This is 170 watts charger and it's going to take about 9.4 hours to charge this device from zero to full. All right, so now this unit fully charged and I'm going to use this capacity meter and we'll test how many watt hours in this power station. All right, so we draw about 200 watts. Let's come back in roughly five hours and we'll see capacity. So this unit just shut it down. Let's see what results we got from this power station. So we got 922 watt hours. Discharge time was four hours, 31 minutes. And uh, actually this is pretty good result. So now let's fully charge this unit and we'll do more tests. Right, power station is fully charged and I'm going to move to the next test where I'm going to perform capacity test on a DC side. In the specification it's saying that on a DC output we can drain 12 volts 8 amps. So this is what I'm going to do. I will connect this capacity meter and we're going to drain this battery. We'll see how many amp hours we're gonna get. And as well, I'm going to measure voltage before test. We'll see how many volts we're getting from output. And at the end of the test, we'll see what is the voltage is going to be when battery is almost drained. I'm just going to set eight amps. All right, let's come back in roughly maybe seven hours and uh, we'll see test results. Here's the results for DC side. Test was running nine hours, 11 minutes, and we've got 930 watt hours from this device. I was watching output voltage from a DC side and it was 12.6 entire way. So at this point, we know what is the capacity on AC side and DC side, basically it's equal, it's 930 watt hours. AC and DC, we've got 930 but hours and uh, now I'm going to show you how to easily calculate how many hours you can run particular equipment. So uh, let's take as an example TV. Uh, usually it's about 100 watts and uh, to get how many hours you can run you just need to take capacity of our power station 930 watt hours. If you divide this by wattage of electrical equipment you're going to get how many hours you can run. So in this case it's going to be 9.3 hours. Sometimes for AC equipment, you will not see how many watts is a particular equipment. So then you will just check specification on the sticker and it's going to be voltage for this device, 120 volts and amperes, how many amps it's consuming. So let's say one amp. So then you multiply this together and you're gonna get how many watts you're getting. For AC, it's not super accurate calculation, but it's gonna work for our scenario. So now for this device, we got 120 watts. So you will just divide 930 watt hours by 120 watts and you're gonna get how many hours you can run. Just an example for smartphones, you can charge your smartphone from this power station for about 80 to 100 times, depends on the battery. And for laptops, for example, MacBook Pro with a huge battery, 100 watt hours, you can charge this uh, laptop nine, nine times. And uh, here's this power station disassembled. So what we have here is a metal case with a plastic bottom and top cover. Inside we have this battery bank, 22.2 volts, 52 amp hours. Capacity is 1154.4 watt hours. So the company derated this uh, power station by 54.4 watt hours to give more accurate capacity. Then on top of the battery, we, ha we have this metal cover, which is protecting battery and electronics from each other. Right here is a main uh, PCB board, which is responsible for AC input output and USB ports right here. Then we have this control board and the top cover. All connections going in or out from PCB board was nicely secured by this glue. And uh, for cooling, we have four fans, two fans right here on the side of uh, case and two fans on the radiators for AC inverter. 
All right, guys, so I'm finishing to edit this video right now and uh, my laptop was connected to power station through USB Type-C port and at the same time I'm charging batteries for camera and my smartphone and I'm using AC output to run this light right here and I don't see any problems with USB ports whatsoever. To summarize, I have good feedback for this power station and uh, I was trying to think what could be improved here and uh, only one item that could be improved, I think, is a screen. It's gonna be nice to see what is the percentage of the battery left and what is the percentage of load for this power station. For example, if I'm running all of this equipment and I know it takes only 15% of load capacity for this power station, I know that I can plug something additional. In a general, I can see many examples where I can take this power station with me on camping or anywhere outside to charge my devices or use AC power. And I hope you enjoyed this review and as always, thank you for watching and see you later.